So, trying to pin down any one source for any particular aspect of Halloween, like the jack-o'-lantern or trick-or-treating, is like following a will-o'-the-wisp through the darkness, and leaves us bogged down in confusing folktales, scraps of evidence, and modern rationalizations and made-up origin stories. Which is fitting, since another term for will-o'-the-wisp is, in fact, jack-o'-lantern. Actually, it turns out that a flickering light over a bog is an earlier meaning for jack-o'-lantern than its Halloween connection. There are, in fact, many names for this phenomenon, which is probably really produced by spontaneous ignition of methane coming from the decomposing vegetation of the bog, such as ignis fatus, meaning foolish fire, or corpse candles. The most well-known modern term, will-o'-the-wisp, was used especially in East England. Wisp means a bundle of straw, hence torch. So Jack of the Lantern and Will of the Torch are essentially the same. One folk explanation for the lights is that they are the wandering spirits of people who are being punished for moving landmarks or boundary stones in life. The bog light phenomenon is also associated with the mischievous spirit Pa 